Libra, it's your girl D with Hidden Truth Tarot, back to give you another reading for July 1st through July 15th. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, coming back if this is your uh, not your first time coming to uh, check out the uh, channel and the videos. I really do appreciate you coming back to check it out. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thank you. Mwah. You're the best. I appreciate and love your support. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys feel that these videos resonate with you, please leave a message. I do like to read the messages um, to see how many people are resonating with the readings. Um, if you know somebody who resonates with this who's not a subscriber, shoot them the video over. Um, the whole purpose of me doing this is to ensure that I'm able to help people make decisions that will you know, impact their lives in a positive way. All right. So if you know somebody who can use the message, please pass it to them. All right. Um, happy 4th of July, folks. All right. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, happy 4th of July. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. All right, Libra, again, this is from July 1st through July 15th. And um, I'm using the deck called the Ravens uh, Prophecy Tarot. This is by Maggie Steve Barter or Vader. Okay. These cards are going to be read in the upright because the uh, author of these cards... Uh, specifically noted in her book you know that she didn't feel that the, a reversal or definitions for reversals were needed because the surrounding cards essentially the surrounding cards will dictate uh the meaning of these cards and how they should be taken and, and i do agree with that because i've used these um a couple of times earlier today and i've also used them with a uh, private client and it does make sense so what we're going to do is we're going to clarify these cards with the african tarot and if the African Tarot cards come up reversed, I'll read those. But these, um, I'm going to read them in the upright only. So we're going to do two spreads, okay? Um, five card spreads each. And if you um, are not familiar with the spreads that I do, just stay tuned. Um, if you missed any of the Libra videos that I've posted in the past, I've been on uh, YouTube since May. So go ahead and go to the playlist and check out Libra 2019 so that you get all the latest Libra videos so that you can keep up with what's going on and see if it resonated with you. All right. So we're going to start the first uh, spread with the first card being the past. The second card being the present. The third card is the future. The fourth card is the reason why things are the way they are. And then the final card is the, uh, the outcome. Okay. And then the overall energy is the Ten of Wands, okay? All right, so the Ten of Wands, this is um, Gem Gemini, no, it's not, it's uh, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, all right? Ten of Wands represents uh, the fact that um, somebody is actually really tired, they're burdened out, okay? So this represents you here with your energy, you're, you're tired, you're, you're carrying a burden, and the good thing about this is that it's this cycle is about to end. It's completed. All right. So let's clarify and find out what's burdening you. So the first card is the past. Okay. And this is the Knight of Coins or known as the Knight of Pentacles. All right. The Knight of Coins is uh, somebody who is, this is Taurus energy. So you can have that in your chart or the person you're dealing with can have that in their chart. Or this is you just embodying the energy of the Knight of uh, Pentacles, which is somebody who just takes their time uh, with something. You're thorough. You don't jump to conclusions. You're not hasty about making a decision. Um, you take your time, and then when you make your decision, it's final, and that's that. Okay? The uh, present situation for you is the Knight of Wands. Okay? And this is Gemini. I'm sorry. This is Aries Leo Sag energy. And the Knight of Wands represents somebody who... Uh, comes in with uh, passion, comes in with fire. Um, they are, they can be very lusty. Um, they're a very creative individual. Um, they just have a lot of charisma with them. Okay. So that's what your present situation is. So maybe you're embodying this energy or you've met someone who has this energy. We will clarify further. Now the future is temperance and temperance is a Sagittarius energy so you could be dealing with someone who has that in a chart or you could have that in yours or you're just embodying the energy of temperance when it comes to your future uh, you are going to be balanced in your decision making um, you are going to um, be at a, a point where you are um, in harmony 
you have self-control and you're gonna be using moderation all right so that's in the future and that's a good thing now the reason why this is all going on is the knight of cups or the king of cups excuse me so this is a uh, Scorpio energy so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or someone who has Scorpio in your chart if you don't have it in yours um, then this is just um, you embodying the Scorpio energy or the King of Cups energy, which is somebody who is very loving, very intuitive, very romantic, um, doesn't wear their heart on their sleeve, but doesn't have a problem showing love and showing emotion. All right. And then the outcome is going to be the Knight of Swords. So we got a lot of Knights on the board here. All right. So Knight of Swords is uh, someone who... This is a Gemini energy, okay? So you could have Gemini in your chart or the person you're dealing with could, but this is somebody who comes in and communicates in a rather quick way, fast. They're kind of maybe direct and to the point. They don't really explain anything. Um, they're not emotional in their communication. It's just blah, 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 you know, and they could come in really quick and fast with it, okay? So let's clarify these cards. We're clarifying with the African Tarot. Right, so let's clarify the Knight of Coins. That's the first card you have here because that was in your past. So with that energy, you were you know, slow and taking your time or the person you were dealing with was slow and taking their time. And let's not forget that the overall energy for this reading is the Ten of Wands. You know, being to, pressed to the limit. You're burdened out. All right. Let's uh, cut the cards. Oops. I'm all over the place here. All right, so nine of coins. Let's see what that's about. Oh. We got the five of pentacles, okay? So this means that um, somebody was slow to walk away from a situation, perhaps. And then we got that further clarified by the hermit card. Okay, that's Virgo energy. So you could be dealing with Virgo or somebody you're dealing with or dealt with have Virgo in their chart. But this is you going in to reflect um, on what was going on. So it looks like thus far you were slow to walk away from the situation. And that was in the past. Okay, so that's what that, maybe that's what that Ten of Wands energy was about. All right, so the present energy is the Knight of Wands. All right, so this is somebody coming in, passionate new communication or passionate communication. Let's uh, clarify. Clarify by the Nine of Pentacles. All right, and this is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, specifically Virgo energy. And the Nine of Pentacles usually represents somebody who is self-sufficient, um, who has the financial gain, they're able to take care of themselves, you know, they um, wouldn't mind being in a relationship, but it doesn't kill them that they're not in one, they're totally comfortable with who they are, and they're able to take care of themselves in any manner that they uh, deem fit, all right? So that's you, that must be your energy, you know, not a, this situation, you walked away from that situation, all right? And then we're going to clarify that with the um, Nine of Wands. All right, so it looks like you were putting in some work in a situation. You might be putting in work in, into yourself um, and, and defending yourself um, in this situation. You know, hold on a second. Oh, I thought it was going to be some noise in the background. Hopefully it's not too loud. All right, so the future is temperance. So that temperance is all about bringing balance and harmony doing things in moderation um, and we got that clarified by the moon card in reverse all right so this is Pisces energy and when this is in reverse with the moon card this is getting clarity um, having the truth revealed um, maybe in your you know a message was downloaded to you by the higher power okay but you um, have balance now because you have some information all right and we're gonna clarify that moon card in reverse with the two of cups in reverse all right so yeah it looks like you were um some clarity was given to you in reference to the situation with the person that you were dealing with this could have been a cancer that you were dealing with because this represents can or cancer or somebody has cancer in their chart all right so there was balance restored in this situation all right and let's clarify the reason why this all happened and this was because of the king of cups all right and we're going to clarify that and that is clarified with the Six of Cups. Okay, this is Scorpio energy. All right, so again, someone could have Scorpio in their chart or be dealing with someone with a Scorpio, uh, with Scorpio in their chart. 
but it looks as though um, with the King of Cups energy clarified by the Six of Cups in reverse, this was somebody that you had dealt with in the past, okay? And with the uh, Six of Cups in reverse, this is a situation where um, you're living in the past, you're, you're, you know, thinking back about when the times were probably better or when they weren't. Uh, you may have had some unrealistic re expectations uh, in reference to the situation, but let's clarify further. So we clarify that with the Page of Cups in reverse. So yeah, it looks like you had unrealistic expectations or somebody did in reference to love because there is no love here with the Page of Cups in reverse. All right. Now let's clarify the Knight of Swords because that's the outcome. So the Knight of Swords is rash communication, somebody coming in, you know, letting you know something. And let's clarify that. And we got that clarified by the King of Cups in reverse. So this is telling me that with the King of Cups in reverse, this is a person who's verbally abusive, okay? And this makes sense with this card, the Knight of Swords here. So this person has probably been verbally abusive to you if this is not you carrying this energy. Um, been verbally abusive to you, um, you know, and let's see what else is going on with that. And that's clarified by the Three of uh, Swords in reverse. Yeah, so they were verbally abusive to you um, in the past, and now they're trying to apologize, perhaps. They want to heal the situation. Um, they want to um, recover their losses, so to speak, with this situation. So, hmm. So, yeah, it looks like you had to defend yourself with this person. There was a lot of back and forth with this person. Um Looks like they, in the past, you know, stressed you out, which is the overall energy as to why you have the the Ten of Wands here, all right? But it looks like um, in the future, you do gain balance um, because downloads are coming to you from the uh, Divine, letting you know that this is not somebody you need to be with, okay? So that's going to happen in the future. And the reason this is happening is because this person is not really offering you love. This is not really love here, all right? Um, and then the outcome is, you know, either them apologizing to you, you know, or you just basically walking away because you realize that this is a situation that is not going to work out for you, Libra. So let's do another spread and see if we can um, get some additional information or if we're going to get some new information about something else that's going on in your life. All right. So this is going to be another five card spread. But uh, the uh, situations are going to be a little bit different in reference to the categories of the cards and what the different categories, what the five categories are going to represent. ahead and cut the deck and we'll do another another spread another five card spread but in this scenario this first card is going to represent the situation at hand the second card is going to represent the challenge the third card is going to represent the guidance that your friends or family or the higher power is trying to offer to you the fourth card is going to be your focus and then the fifth card is going to be the outcome okay Overall energy for this reading, Four of Swords, okay? So with the Four of Swords, this is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is Gemini energy, okay? Now with the Four of Swords, we're looking at a situation where somebody is resting. Like you've been through a lot, so you're resting, you're retreating. Um, this could be someone who's come home from war, who is resting, you know, somebody who might have been injured, they're in the hospital, um, they're resting and recovering. This could be somebody who um, was just mentally stressed out and the situation has come to a head and, and it's been now it's time for them to just release and let all this pressure go in reference to this. Or you could just be taking a break from things and just resting. So let's clarify and see what's going on. Let's check out the categories first. So in the situation at hand, we have the chariot card and this came up in your last spread, um, if I'm not mistaken. No, it didn't. 
I did a video for you prior to this and it came up in that original spread. So, okay, it's meant to come out for you then because I couldn't post the video because my storage and my camera was filled uh, maybe five minutes into the video. So I had to start this video again. So cancer comes up for the situation and you could be dealing with the cancer or have cancer in your chart. Um, the person that you're dealing with could have cancer in their chart. If not, this is just basically you um, looking at a situation from a level head. You know, you're not too much into your heart about it. You're not too much into your head about it. Both are aligned and you're ready to move forward. The presence, I'm sorry, the challenge in the situation is the five of wands. Okay, this is Gemini, no, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. And with the five of wands, we're looking at Leo energy. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Leo or somebody who has Leo in your chart, or you could have Leo in your chart. All right, and with the five of wands, this is a conflict. This could be competition, um, but it's um, energy that's unsettled. Okay, now that is the challenge. Now, the guidance in this situation is the seven of coins. All right. So with the seven of coins or seven of pentacles, um, this is a situation. Well, the seven of pentacles represents Virgo energy. OK, and this is a situation where you're trying to see what's going to happen. OK, you've put in some type of work, you've taken some type of action, and now you want to see what the results are going to be of that action. OK, so that's the guidance is to just sit back and wait. All right. So the focus or what you're focused on or what you should be focused on is the Hierophant energy. This is Virgo energy. You could have this in your chart or the person you're dealing with could have it in their chart. Or you could just be embodying this energy and this is an energy of going within, looking for clarity, uh, looking to uh, uh, looking for truth. You know, um, this could also be for spiritual enlightenment as well. Okay. So that's what the focus is. And then the outcome is the Knight of Coins, okay? So the Knight of Coins is the Knight of Pentacles. And this outcome represents taking your time, um, not rushing into things, uh, being, you know, being consistent, but making sure that there's no stones unturned as you move forward. All right, so let's clarify these cards and see what kind of message we got here. So keep in mind, the overall energy is the Four of Swords. This is somebody resting after an ordeal. Okay, so we're clarifying the chariot here. All right, that's the, the uh, current situation that you using your head and your heart are aligned. All right, and we're going to clarify that with the two of pentacles, I'm sorry, two of cups in reverse. This is cancer energy. So this is cancer energy, clarifying cancer energy. So some of you definitely are dealing with someone who has cancer in their chart or they are cancer, or you definitely have cancer in your chart. All right, but you're using your mind and your uh, heart uh, in an even way when dealing with the problems in this relationship, okay? So let's clarify the two of cups. And we have that clarified by the strength card, which is Leo energy. So if you have Leo in your chart, they could have Leo in their chart, but you're embodying the Leo strength. The energy here is to remain strong. This is the whole point of this card here. So, so let's take a look at the five of wands because that's the challenge, all right? And that could be competition. That could be um, uh, people uh, arguing, uh, disagreeing. So let's clarify. And that's with the lover's card, clarified by the lover's card. So Gemini. So you could have Gemini in your chart. Somebody else could have it. But um, this is fighting in reference to a love situation here. All right. And let's clarify the lover's card here. Further clarified by the uh, page of pentacles. Okay. So this is Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. And with the page of pentacles, we're looking at somebody who um, this could possibly be a new job. This could possibly new, be news of, uh, of new money coming in, potential money coming in. All right, so we're going to um, clarify all these cards and then we'll paint the picture here. So with the guidance, we have the seven of coins here. And this is basically just telling you to sit back and, 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 and wait. Don't do anything. Just sit back and relax and rest. So we're clarifying that. And it's clarified with the ace of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, 
So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse means that, you know, um, don't stress out about this. This could be about stressing about money. Okay, this could be about somebody being greedy. All right, so it's like hold off on doing anything more in reference to giving up money or, or investing in a financial opportunity or situation with this person. And we're going to further clarify that. And we have that clarified with the Seven of Cups. All right, that's Pisces energy. And yeah, this you could be in your head about this. Um, you may be trying to decide what you're going to do, what your options are in reference to this, okay? So the focus of this reading is the Hierophant. And this is you going within, all right, trying to find enlightenment in how to deal with this situation. And we have that clarified with the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay, so it looks like you walked away from this situation um, or you want to walk away, but you're kind of stuck and stagnant, which is why you're going within. Well, let's clarify that further. We have the Six of Swords reverse clarified by the uh, Chariot card, okay, which is Cancer Energy. Again, Cancer Energy. A lot of Cancer in here, okay? So this is basically stating that um, you're going within because you're kind of stuck you want to walk away or you've walked away and you're considering coming back but your your decision is going to be based on your heart and your mind being aligned so that might be why you're going within to decide what it is that you want to do and how you're going to proceed so the outcome is the knight of coins and the knight of coins represents a steadfast but kind of slow energy um this is somebody who will take their time to get things done, but once they do, it's a short bet. It's done. You don't have to worry about it. They're very reliable. We have that clarified by the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So this is basically saying to me, Wheel of Fortune is, um, oh, what energy is the Wheel of Fortune? The Wheel of Fortune is Sag energy, okay? So you could be dealing with a Sag, or you could have it in your chart, or the person could have it in theirs. But when the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse, this is bad luck, Okay. So it's basically telling me here that if you wait around to make a move, that it's not going to go in your favor. So let's clarify that even further. We have that clarified with the Four of Swords, which is the overall energy. So as far as this reading is concerned, you're dealing with someone who has cancer in their chart or you're dealing with a cancer here. So it looks as though with the situation at hand, you are moving forward with your uh, heart and your head aligned uh, in reference to a love situation gone bad. And you need to continue to use your strength in doing what you are doing and moving forward past the situation. Okay. The challenge is the five of wands. So there's a lot of conflict between you and this person. All right. It could be Gemini that you're dealing with. Um, and then it looks as though um, there is a message of possible money. So maybe this person is trying to bribe you with money. Um, or trying to get money from you, trying to, you know, pretend that they are interested in you in order to get money from you, all right? But the guidance is to stop, to not, to not do anything in reference to giving away money, all right? And it could be that, you know, you're, you're in your head about this, okay? And you're trying to decide what you want to do. So you go within, which is the Hierophant card, because you really want to leave the situation, but you're kind of stuck for whatever reason, but... It looks as though you're not, okay, in this situation, it doesn't look like you're stuck. It looks like you're just trying, you may be wanting to go back, okay? But it looks as though if you go back, that means you're not using your heart and your head, okay? And then the end result is the Knight of Coins here, okay, with the Wheel in Reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, and then the Four of Swords. So the universe is saying that, you know, if you move forward with this too slow, it looks like you... You're just trying to get away from a person or trying to get away from this situation. And if you're too slow in making a decision, it's going to cause you bad luck. All right. So hopefully this reading may have given you some uh, insight on what you need to do if this resonates with you. Um, and if it did, please let me know because I would like to hear more about this situation. But uh, this has been your reading Libra from July 1 to July 15th. Enjoy your 4th of July. I'll check back with you on the 15th. Peace out, Libra.